Factor Ostro Vam in a size 52, weighing at 7.10 kilos. And in pounds, 15 pounds, 12 ounces. Stay tuned to wait here, free body sound test on those wheels right there. Hey everybody, GC Performance here, back with another video. And today I have for you guys an exciting bike right here. This is the 2023 Factor Ostro Vam. This is their flagship model. This is considered their all around bike that they have to offer here. Uh, Chris Froome is seen riding this bike. It is a pro Peloton bike in the tour. Uh, it is considered a direct to consumer bike brand as well. But uh, just want to say a quick shout out to City Bikes over here at Aventura. Uh, Miguel was kind enough to let me go ahead and do a video on this bike. I believe they're actually selling in a dealer for Factor now. So I know they're direct to consumer on their website, but there are a couple little uh, local stores that offer Factor to sell in stock. So very cool if you guys were ever interested in Factor bikes, but uh, we're kind of thrown away by not wanting to have to buy directly consumer. You guys should go into the store, check it out, see what it has to offer. This is my first time actually seeing a Factor Ostro Van in, in person. And uh, I must say, this is a stunning bike. They give you a lot of components, a lot of good for this bike price for $10,500. Now I know $10,500 is extremely expensive, but this is their top, top tier bike that they have to offer with this. So we're gonna get into everything this bike does right. Um, and also talk about the look of it, the aesthetics of it. And yeah, I mean, you guys have probably seen Chris Room ride this bike, talk about this bike. Uh, race on this bike so i'm sure you guys if you guys do follow any other youtubers out there like chris room uh, he rides it i believe chris miller also rides a factor bike as well but this bike is a beautiful bike this is my first time seeing in person aesthetics of this bike are amazing i do like the logo it is a very modern looking bike i like the cut out of the frame i like the the kind of color rainbow mirror logos in there and i do like it's a gloss raw carbon on the seat posts on the top tube but they do a lot of good things to this bike Every component on this bike is made in-house by them, except for the group set and the bottom bracket and headset. But the handlebars are made by them. The wheels are made by them. The saddle is not made by them. I lied on that one. Um, and the reason why we have this little steer tube not cut right here is because of the fact that they left that open for, uh, if they sell a the bike, they want to make sure they're able to fit it. And also the weight that came in for this bike, 7.1 kilos, 15 pounds, 12 ounces. This is out of the box without the steer cut with a mount on there. You could easily get this thing to 6.8 kilos if you built it up correctly. We have butyl tubes in there. You have a, a, a Pirelli tire on there, which you could probably change out to a lighter tire. You could shave up a good amount of weight on this bike right off the bat and get this thing to 6.8 kilos for top tier pricing. So very, very cool. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this bike. So Black Ink, this is their own sister company, The Factor. This is what they make. This is like their own brand. This is like Specialized Revolt. This is like Trek and Bond Trigger. Black Ink is with Factor as well. And they make their own carbon fiber parts like their integrated bar and stem combination here. Uh, very lightweight. The cables are ran through the bar, through the stem, down in front of the top tube right here, and then into the bike where they're coming out to the brakes where they need to go. They do have their own little integrated system on here where it is more bowed out. They have a little flare on the drops as well. You're seeing more and more companies that are modern go with a flare dropout. Uh, and they keep the hoods kind of uh, aligned in more to be a little bit more arrow. We're noticing more and more bike companies go with a more narrower width handlebar and more flared dropouts on there for the consumer. Uh, if you guys can see right here, it says SLT Ceramic Speed headset bearings on here. SLT is uh, something that Ceramic Speed offers where they actually allow it to be completely uh, unserviceable. So you don't have to uh, actually service these uh, headset bearings in here, which is very good, especially if you're buying a consumer direct brand like this. I'm sure you don't want to have to go to any kind of shops and get this thing worked on. So that way you have to just have that taken care of where you need to. They also do include on here a industry, or I'm sorry, a black ink integrated uh, Garmin stem mount right here. So you can add a Garmin, a Wahoo, a hammerhead, whatever you like on here as well. I do actually, this is very small, but I do like their tape. Their factory tape on here feels very comfortable very squishy tacky I don't ride with gloves but this is a tape that I do actually really really enjoy and the handlebars again the ergonomics on here I do like the width of them I do like the feel of them they feel kind of narrower down here on the drops which I do like and more beefy up here on the hoods which I do really really like cool thing about the factors is that they are able to take up to a 32 millimeter C tire so you can see how big that front fork is on there I mean I think it is absolutely massive so if you did want to take this bike with some meaty tires on there you have the ability to do so uh, that is a really, really wide cutout. Holy crap. Never noticed that. Uh, on here as well, we do have their black ink wheels. 
These are a 45, as we can read right there. Ba -da -ba. These are a 45 millimeter depth wheel. They do have ceramic speed into their hubs as well. You can see right there. So you do get ceramic speed bearings inside of here. This bike is decked out from ceramic speed from the hubs, the headset all the way to the bottom bracket as well, which we'll get to in a second. We have the little VAM logo right there. We have the factor logo right there. It is a through axle bike. These are a, uh, these, these are a tubeless compatible wheel as well. Black ink are known to be a super light wheel. They're trying to make this bike literally as lightweight as they can out of the box. And it's your job to go ahead and add the finishing touches to it. For the tires on here, these are a, oh, sorry, a Goodyear Eagle F1 tire. It is a 28 tire on here. So again, easily, I think you could take this bike and get it down if you put on some 26 tires, maybe a cotton or a very lightweight Continental 5000, run a TPU tube in there. You can probably get this thing down to seven kilos right off the bat, maybe six, nine kilos as well. Uh, we have the factor logo going all the way down to the frame. And then we have that nice, big bulky bottom bracket. Yes, this is considered their all one bike. It can do everything, but it does have a lot of aero qualities like the uh, front fork, like the beefed up bottom bracket as well to be reinforced to allow some aerodynamics on there. And the bottom bracket system on here is going to be a T47 bottom bracket uh, with that very close to the BB shell crank set right here. And it does have a ceramic speed T47 bottom bracket included on there as well. We do have the little factory logos right there for the water ball right there. And then we can see here, we have a integrated seat post wedge right here as well. Going to the side, this is the only thing the bike does lack for 10.5, but this is a Durace crank, but you guys can notice there is no power meter on here. But like I mentioned before in a lot of my videos, a lot of people are choosing to go more power meter pedals. Uh, you can swap them on the bikes easier. You can get more of an accurate reading on there. It does come with a 5236 chainring on there, which is nice, but again, no power meter for that price. So just remember that for 10.5, you do have to add your own power meter. Uh, the chain is a Durace 12 speed. The front derailleur is a Durace 12 speed. The cassette is a Durace 12 speed, looks to be 1130. And you have a rear Durace rear derailleur as well, uh, which is very nice. Now this bike is also said to be very, very comfortable, uh, which is pretty amazing to be how light it is, to be how aerodynamic it is. But they call this their pen pencil skinny rear stays, which are super, super skinny to allow more vertical compliancy. So not only are they dropped seat stays to be a little bit more aero, but this is very, very thin seat stays right here to make it very comfortable. Uh, I know factors have this kind of thing on this top tube where I don't actually do this, but I've heard other people who have clamped their top tubes when they work on the bikes at home, they have cracked their top tubes. Now this just should be not something that you should do at your house. You should never clamp your own top tube. This is the reason why they got rid of the super tuck rule um, in professional riding as well. Because they get these bikes super lightweight, they take away a good amount of weight off the top tube. These bikes are meant to be very stiff laterally, but not up and down. So uh, I have heard of a couple factor Ostravams for user error of people clamping these here. That's only there. But again, like I said, they're making this thing skinny where they need to be to add more comfort or compliance on there. Nice flat back for aerodynamics. You have the Ostra logo right there. And then, like I said, I like their seat post a lot. Has a big amount of setback. I want to say it's like 25 mils. That looks like a monster amount of setback on there. I would like to see a zero degree seat post on there. I think that'll make this bike look very aggressive, but yeah. Uh, wheels again are a black ink wheel, 45 millimeter depth. Give you a little preview of the Frio body sound test on there. It sounds very normal, like any other Frio body on there. We do have a little chain protector here with the factor logo right here. Bladed spokes and then a 140 millimeter rotor on the front, I'm sorry, in the rear, 160 millimeter rotor in the front. Saddle is going to be their top line Sella Italia SLR saddle with a carbon fiber rail, carbon fiber body, and a nice wide cutout. And you're seeing more and more saddles now uh, be traditionally wide back here and carry that width up to the front because people tend to scoot forward on these saddles. So they continue this wide cut on the front to make it more comfortable. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know what you guys think. This is my first time actually seeing a factor. I've talked to a bunch of people who ride Factor. I've talked to people who left Tarmax to ride Factors. I've talked to people who left Factors to ride Tarmax. And uh, they are a very, very big competitor. And uh, they're, they are a serious brand to be uh, uh, messed around with. They, they are a very nice bike. I think they offer a lot of good qualities on there. Again, if they're going into retail stores and be able to be sold there, that is a thing, a nice, nice touch. Um, but being that they are a direct consumer, website, store, bike, they're able to off this group set here for 10.5 on this bike with a nice frame. So 
Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the Here next. comes a free Abaya Santas on these black ink wheels, 45mm depth right here.